Monday second video for you is first news story is from Somali land where four journalists have been arrested in a city where uh, Musi Bahi Abdi Somali land's president arrived yesterday and among the arrested journalists is uh, BBC Somali correspondent as well. A second news story is from Somalia Fahad Yasin, former chief of uh, Somalia's intelligence agency, gave uh, uh, an interview, uh, I think, 48 hours ago. He leveled some allegations against PM Roble. And in that interview, he talked about uh, uh, the claims, the rumors that uh, soldiers from Somalia were launched by Eritrean government to fight in Tigray. Uh, what did he say in uh, that interview aired around 48 hours ago? A third new story is uh, from Ethiopia. Ethiopian PM Abi on Tuesday will attend a parliament's session where he'll respond to questions. Uh, fourthly, Eritrea viewers, UN Human Rights Council is due to meet in coming hours at uh, 10 p.m. Geneva time. A session will be held. Eritrea is on the agenda. Uh, and uh, UN uh, special rapporteur on Eritrea will attend this uh, session. Lastly, it was very important news story is that a mysterious flight has been tracked by an expert. Uh, the flight uh, is between US military base in Djibouti and Makele. Uh, the plane flew from the base and reportedly, reportedly, it landed in Makele without. Uh, visiting Addis Ababa, it was a direct flight. We'll have a detailed look at this news story. Firstly, viewers, the first news story is from Somaliland, self-declared country. Somalia claims it's part of Somalia. Musi Bai Abdi is the president of the country. He is in disagreement with opposition parties about uh, next presidential election due to be held in uh, November this year. He was in uh, Erigabu, uh, a city yesterday in Sanag zone, I think. Uh, he visited uh, Erigabu and when he arrived there, people protested as well. Peaceful protest was held against uh, Musi Bayabdi in uh, Erigabu. Now, reportedly, uh, Somali land government has arrested four journalists in Erigabu. Who are these four journalists? Why were they arrested? Their names are firstly Muhammad Dahalo, Kilwe Adan, Abdi Aziz Hidig, and Muhammad Jama. They were arrested in Erigabu. It means that their arrest is linked to Musi Bay Abdi's visit of Erigabu where people protested and media covered it as well. One of the journalists works for BBC Somali service. Now, we know that in April, Somali land uh, arrested uh, several journalists and uh, I think 14 were arrested in Hargisha in April in connection with coverage of prison riots in Hargisha. Uh, and uh, most of them were released later. Now, four journalists in uh, Erigabu are in detention. No statement from the government so far. What is the cause of this arrest? But that just shows that uh, in Somali land, journalists are being targeted uh, like we're seeing in Ethiopia. Now, the trend is being seen in Somali land. In coming videos, we'll try to update you about uh, uh, this a new story. So far, it, it has been confirmed four journalists are in detention in Erigabu. A second story is from Somalia viewers. Fahad Yassin, former chief of NISA, National Intelligence and Security Agency of Somalia, spoke a few hours ago 
in an interview he leveled allegations against pm roble against mahat salad new chief of nisa and he accused them of uh, plotting the murder of ikran tahleel former uh, nisa uh, agent who went missing last year still missing people say that she has been killed uh, he leveled allegations against pm roble and two of his associates uh, mahat salad and other one he said they were behind the disappearance and killing of uh, ikran tari in the same interview he talked about uh, the rumors the reports that uh, somali soldiers soldiers from somalia fought in tigray against tigray defense force in support of eritrean and ethiopian government forces he rejected the rumors once again Uh, since day one it has been consistent position of somalia's government previous government abdullahi farmajo government when uh, fahadi asin was head of nisa the position was that no soldiers from somalia fought in uh, tigray though we do know that thousands of somalia soldiers uh, have been undergoing military training uh, in eritrea uh, un special rapporteur on eritrea abdul salam babikar in one of his reports implied that uh, according to some unconfirmed reports uh, some somalia soldiers were deployed to tigray by eritrea but it remained unconfirmed now Fad Yasin's position is still the same. He said there is no evidence. There is no. Uh, uh, these are all rumors. No Somalia soldiers fought in Tigray. Now the file of the soldiers. Uh, this entire uh, uh, development file is in the hands of Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud. Uh, will he order an inquiry? Tigray. Uh, some Tigray government officials have been claiming that the soldiers from Somalia fought in Tigray. Uh, but we do not see a uh, convincing evidence uh, will hassan sheikh mahmood new president of somalia order an inquiry into this matter or not next so from eritrea viewers eritrea is on the agenda of a meeting of human rights council in coming hours at 10 uh, pm uh local time geneva time meeting will be held and abdul salam babikar un special representative on eritrea will brief uh, the members discussions will be held about covid-19 about palestine israel issue as well eritrea is on agenda as well and we know that uh, Abdul Salam Babikar in a report submitted two days ago implied that Eritrea should not be part of Human Rights Council. That Eritrea was using its membership of the council to stop international investigation into human rights abuses in Eritrea, Ethiopia, and other parts of the world. Let's see what will happen at today's meeting. Uh, will there be any key decision will update you in coming hours about this meeting due to be held in geneva uh next new story is from ethiopia viewers where pm abi is due to address the parliament on tuesday on tuesday i think joint session of the parliament will be held uh, it uh, will be 13th session of the parliament where pm abi will respond to questions from members of parliament and the session will be attended by mps by diplomats as well religious leaders uh, and invitees let's see which questions will be put uh, will there be any tough questions or will there be just government backed mps uh, Uh, to put soft questions to PMB, that remains to be seen. Uh, the session will be televised live tomorrow. It is being said, so we'll update you tomorrow about this key session uh, at a time when questions are being raised about government's action, uh, security operation in Oromia, Amhara, and talks. Uh, and there is talk of uh, talks between government and uh, Tigray uh, Liberation Front in Tanzania in coming in Tanzania in coming days. 
session is very important. Uh, we'll update you tomorrow about the questions and answers of PMRB uh, on uh, Tuesday. Lastly, it was a very important news story. Uh, an expert has tracked a flight between US military base in Djibouti and Tigray's capital, Makele. The expert monitors uh, flight data, uh, flight paths, and he shares uh, details about different flights. Uh, and he says that on Monday in the early morning, a U.S. Air Force aircraft flew from U.S. military base in Djibouti and reportedly it landed in Makele, Tigray's capital. It was a direct flight. It wasn't through Addis Ababa. We don't know what was the purpose of this flight. Uh, uh, why is U.S. military uh, sending a direct flight to Tigray from its base in Djibouti? Some would say that the flight could be linked to provision of humanitarian assistance to Tigray, uh, which is not likely because all humanitarian assistance to Tigray is going through Addis Ababa. Uh, flights land at Addis Ababa airport where... Uh, Checkings are ensured. Thorough checking is carried out of aid supplies. Then uh, the aid supplies are sent by road to Afar, where in Samara the supplies are stored, and then from Samara onwards again checking points, and then supplies are sent to Tigray. So there have been no direct flights between Tigray and uh, other country. Uh, what humanitarian assistance. This is the first time that we are seeing this report from an expert that on Monday morning there was a direct flight. Is Ethiopian government aware of this flight? Did it happen with the approval of the government? That's not clear. You can have a look at the path of this flight. The flight you can see flew from uh, U.S. military base in Djibouti, close to sea, and then it passes over Dekhel, it enters Afar, you can say, it, it can be seen passing over Samara, and then it enters Tigray. There is no uh, where Addis Ababa in this flight path. It, mean, it was a direct flight between uh, U.S. military base in Djibouti and Tigray's capital, Makale. No statement from Tigray government or from U.S. military base in Djibouti. In coming hours, we'll try to update you about this mysterious flight between U.S. military base and Tigray's capital, Makale. Thank you for watching.